hi everybody, you're watching our blog. Uh, we continue to take interviews from Slash in Helsinki and now uh, we find Christo. Christo, hi. <laughs> hey man. Uh, please introduce yourself to our viewers who don't know about you and uh, transfer wise. Cool, uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for having me. We, uh, I started a company called Transferwise about five years ago um, and the idea was there that the banks take quite a lot of money for us to exchange currency and to move money you know, from Russia to, uh, to Europe or to Estonia or from Estonia to Russia. And they do it in a very secret way. They, they take a margin on the exchange rate and they don't even tell you what they did. So they might tell you that you know, it costs you 50 rubles, but actually you find that it costs like 500 or 5,000 rubles and it's hidden in the exchange rate. So we found a solution for that problem by exchanging money with each, with each other and we created, in, created it as a platform that's called TransferWise. We're now moving uh, 700 million dollars every month uh, all around the world, we're in 52 countries, soon in Russia as well. Yeah, so uh, in Russia now it's not very popular, but uh, uh, you think, uh, how, how you think to make it more popular in Russia, maybe, maybe it's your plans? Uh, because in Russia now uh, many people use uh, in our money transfers, uh, but uh, transfer wise is different and it's uh, <laughs> because no, it, no, it's not just that it's cool. I mean, we don't do things because they're cool. Yeah. We do things because we believe that they are better, and better, that better yeah. is measured by cost. Yes. So comparing to banks in, in Western Europe, we're eight times cheaper than a bank. Yes. But we do it because of speed. And we can move money between countries in 17 seconds. When, with a bank, it usually takes three to five working days, and you don't know when it's going to get there. And because of convenience, so you use TransferWise on an app, you, you know, type in the account number and you're done. Where doing an international payment in a bank is usually quite complex with correspondent banks and so, you don't know what's happening. And it's, uh, uh, I think you use some stack of technology, uh, not usually for my transfer, yes? Or it's, uh, what uh, technical stack? We're uh, we're based in uh, on Java, and uh, there's another thing called on that called Rails and Groovy. Uh, we actually have a load of engineers um, uh, joining us uh, from from Russia, from Saint Petersburg, uh, from Moscow. Um, uh, it's, it's very cool. We have a lot of Java experience actually from Russia. who are joining uh, joining us in Tallinn um, in our engineering team. It's a it's, it's a modern technology. Um, and it's a kind of way, way faster and easier to build than, than the banks. So that's why we can build a better product. So for uh, for most people, it's easy to use transfer wise. It's not, nothing complex. Uh, just register and uh, like in our money transfer system. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Register and get going. Okay. Cool. And so. We're running out of time. Yeah. So yeah. Two minutes. Yes. Okay. And. Uh, uh, can you say about how difficult actually was to build uh, this company? What difficult was uh, on your way uh, was? It's, uh, it's, I think it's less about building the company but more about solving the problem. Of course it's a big problem, it's like 300 billion dollars a year are being spent on these bank fees. So it's a big problem and I, I, I think it takes focus, a lot of focus and determination, but it's not impossible. So it's, it's like one of those things that is uh, it's hard to do, but it's doable. So what I would say to young entrepreneurs is if you, if you see the problem and you believe that you have a solution, just get on with it. And so banks not angry, but uh, now it's uh, cheaper to use uh, well, and they lost money, no? <laughs> Yes, of course they lose money, of course. Um, but I don't think it's it's still the, it's, it's still not one of the biggest problems. They have other problems with you know, 2008 and uh, you know all the all the loans that go bad. Yeah, thank you. And last question, maybe you suggest something to our viewers, uh, young startups. Uh, uh, a few words. Uh, what do you think were most important for startups? So I think for startups, especially in this region. Um, 
it's important to, to think of the global market from the outset. So Russia is maybe slightly better because it's already quite a big market on its own. So you have giants like Yandex you know, who have emerged. But for everyone in a kind of a smaller group, you know, don't build an app for your city. You know, build something that works globally. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. Time. Hey. Bye.